standing up if the elephants come very close to the line where you are. On the edge of town lies the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, a shelter for orphan elephants which is open to visitors every day. <laughs> orphan elephants are naughty and endearing and already have their own specific character. The afternoon visit is reserved exclusively to foster parents. This is the moment to take action shots up close. For foster parents, a unique opportunity is given to enjoy a peaceful break with the orphans. Simotua is a poacher victim, one of many victims of the human and elephant conflict. It gets dark over the Nairobi nursery as the last foster parents have to say goodbye at six. Hidden near the airstrip and ranger post is Athumba's remote tented camp of Sheldrick. This is the domain of the Dick Dick. Although baboons will attack leopards, the Dick Dick has nothing to fear from them. The advantage of so many different species being present at the waterhole is that they warn each other when danger is imminent. Wild and orphan elephants are increasingly getting used to each other. It is still dark when the foster parents reported at the stockade. It is a diverse mixture of wild elephants, ex-orphans and foster parents. They greet the visitors and then do something they don't usually do. They called it a day and returned into the stockade. Many of the keepers are still around. Shikuru is more than happy to receive all that tender attention. Ex-orphan Wendy gave birth to her first child, Weva. Carefully, they guide her to the road. Together with mom and her aunties, Weva makes her first steps to the mud pool. They are not so much looking for water, but to use the mud as a cosmetic From far and near, they come running. These huge elephants are the ones who run the show here. People and wild elephants usually don't get along very well. And these guys definitely mean business. Unexpectedly, the foster parents find themselves unprotected standing between 80 elephants. It looks like one big playground where the big and small get along peacefully. And where you can shamelessly scratch your behind. Headkeeper Benjamin is one of the few permitted to get this close now. It is late afternoon when the first group of orphans come in. The continuous tweeting of the weaver birds leaves no doubt where Weaver got her name. Amicably, he wraps his trunk around his shoulder. They were out all day at the rocky outcrop behind the stockade. Once the last group is home, the heavy fence is closed behind them. Foster parents have ample time to enjoy this time with their adopted orphan. 
135 kilometers south of Ithumba is Voi, the heart of elephant country. And there are more special orphans in Voi. Each Sheldrick shelter takes care of other animal species as well. Wasessa once literally looked the pride of lions straight in the eye. Enthusiastically, the keepers explain in great detail how the orphans are doing. Sheldricks maintains an extensive website including a keeper's diary and elephant orphan updates. They have been given a second chance. No more loving care, but the harsh reality of wild nature. <laughs> 